Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the September 12, 2016 uh, County Commission meeting. I'm gonna call on Sheriff John Fuson to call the meeting to order. Uh, if you would, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Commissioner Gannon and our invocation by Chaplain Joe Creek. All rise. Oh yes, oh yes, this honorable board of county commissioners is now in session pursuant to adjournment. Now may God save this state and this honorable board of county commissioners. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It says in Matthew 5, verses 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your watch care. We thank you for the opportunity we've had to serve with Mark and his dedicated service. We just ask that you will guide and direct him in all of his endeavors as he faces whatever tomorrow might hold. Be with this county commission now. We thank you for the willingness to serve. And we just pray that when our views are different that we respect each other. Please guide and direct us now. For in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. If I could have uh, Mr. Teddy and Miss Susan Everett, please come forward. I have a proclamation uh, that I'd like to read. Um, whereas Donnie Edward Everett's journey in life was short, but his legacy will all will forever live in the hearts of everyone that knew him. Whereas Donnie Everett was born on April 16, 1997 in Clarksville, Tennessee, to parents Teddy and Susan Everett. And whereas Donnie, or the Don as he was nicknamed, graduated from Clarksville High School with a 3.8 GPA, where as a junior he had a baseball record, 11 wins, one loss record, and a 0.16 earn run average and 105 strikeouts. As a senior, he was named the Perfect Game All-American in 2015, the 2015 Gatorade Baseball Player of the Year for Tennessee, and District Pitcher of the Year, the All-District Player from 2012 to 2015. Donnie lettered four years in baseball, helping lead Clarksville High to district championships in 2014 and 15. And whereas Donnie was considered one of the top prospects for the 2015 Major League Baseball Draft, but opted to play for the Vanderbilt Com Commodores rather than going pro. He chose Vanderbilt first for the education opportunities, but all for the feel also for the feeling of family and for the lessons in life he felt Coach Corbin could teach him and would be lessons he would always remember. And whereas Donnie used the word carefree to describe himself and had commented that he would have been a classic car restorer if he had not been an athlete. Donnie was loved by all who knew him and will be sadly missed by his family, friends, and teammates. Now, therefore, I, Jim Durrett, Mayor of Montgomery County, Tennessee, hereby proclaim April 16th as Donnie Edward Everett Day to remember, celebrate, and honor the life of Donnie Everett. May his legacy forever live on in the lives of his family, friends, teammates, and the entire community. Signed, Jim Durrett, Montgomery County Mayor. another proclamation uh, before I read this I'd like to say a few words uh, in regard to the recipient of this pro proclamation as most of you know or probably read in the local newspaper uh, Commissioner Mark Riggins uh, has unfortunately decided to uh, to resign and uh, when Mark came to my office and told me about it he was sitting across the desk from me and 
I didn't know why he came to my office, but when, once he started talking, it was pretty obvious the reason he was there. And I wanted with all my heart to try to talk you out of it, Mark, but for the reasons that you stated to me, for my family, uh, with a daughter uh, that's only going to be at home for three more years and need to spend more time with your family, there wasn't a word I could say, but God bless you and Godspeed, man. So, Mark, you've been an awesome county commissioner. I've been blessed to serve with you for two years. Uh, it's been a great two years. You've been on the budget committee. Uh, you've been a great commissioner. I've known you a lot longer than I've been mayor, than you've been a commissioner. And I've seen you grow. I've seen myself grow. And I'm just awfully proud to call you my friend. So I'd like to read this proclamation for you. Whereas County Commissioner Mark Riggins was elected to the Montgomery County Board of Commissioners representing Districts 4A and 4B in September 2010 and served through September 30, 2016 for a total of six years in Montgomery County governmental services as a county commissioner. And whereas Commissioner Riggins served his districts and Montgomery County faithfully and diligently and contributed invaluably to the total deliberations of the Board of County Commissioners, having served on the Budget Committee, Ag Committee, Animal Care and Control Committee, Jail and Juvenile Committee, Joint Land Acquisition Committee, Legislative Liaison Committee, Parks Committee, Conservation Board, I'm only halfway through, Joint Economic Community Development Board, Fair Board, Nominating Committee, Residential Development Committee, and Economic Development Committee. Whereas the departure of Commissioner Riggins from the county's legislative body will be a loss to the citizens of Montgomery County. His knowledge and expertise, his kind and considerate manner, and his overall selfless dedication to the commission and to the citizens of Montgomery County are traits that, we will, be, that will be hard to replace. And whereas it is appropriate that suitable recognition be made for this citizen who gave so much of himself in service to his community. Now, therefore, I, Jim Durrett, Mayor of Montgomery County, Tennessee, on this 12th day of December, 2016, and on behalf of the citizens of Montgomery County, do hereby recognize and express sincere appreciation to Commissioner Mark Riggins for six years of loyal and dedicated service to Montgomery County government and the Board of Commissioners. Mark, we're gonna miss you, man. I try to be brief. <laughs> I can't speak enough to how much it's meant to me over the last six years to get to know all the county employees that I've got to meet. What a great <clears throat> true service you do for this community. You're, you're very well, you're just too much unappreciated. I want you to know that there's a lot of us that do appreciate you and we appreciate all you do every day for us. Uh, you make us look good here. I want us to all the department heads and elected officials, thank you for all the time you spent with me on the endless phone calls <laughs> that I've called and bugged y'all for, uh, for information that I needed for the next vote. Um, for the commissioners, each and every one of y'all, I thank you. Thank you for your friendship, all you've done for me, um, the times we've got to know each other, all the support you've shown me for what I need to get done over in District 4, uh, all the things we've done for this county. It's been a great six years. and I. I know y'all will keep on going. Uh, appreciate all of y'all that, uh, that helped me get those things done. And, and even so, for those, that even though we were on the other side of, of the aisle voting against each other, you still took the time to try to explain to me your side of things and, and show me things in a different view. And I always appreciate that. Truly, I do. Uh, to the mayor's office, of course, the staff, ladies there, none of us would be anything here without y'all. We all know that. Uh, Jim and Jeff, you know, I, I thank y'all, love y'all, y'all are true friends, and I appreciate all y'all do every day. And then uh, lastly, somebody asked me today, what, uh, what, are some things that, <clears throat> what are some things I'm proud of for the last, <clears throat> excuse me, the last six years? And uh, the main thing for me is I was asked when I first got elected, it's not so much what I was able to get accomplished with, with y'all's help, of course, but uh, I was asked when I first got elected 
if uh, if you had to, if there was something you had to vote on, and uh, would you would you vote a certain way against what you really believed in order to get something else that you needed down the road? And I told him absolutely not, that I would never vote for something I didn't truly believe in all the way, even if that meant later on down the road. He said, "Well, that's not that's not very good politically wise." I said, "Well, I never said I was a good politician. <laughs> never said that at all. Never claimed to be." But uh, but I also told him, I said, "What I'm going to do is just keep with the way." As long as I vote the way I believe right here, I can always justify every way I ever vote, always. And I know y'all understand that as well. And, uh, and I also said, and, and when I bring something to present, I'm going to present it so well that it's going to make them look bad if they vote against it. So I'm not too worried <laughs> about that. But, uh, and then two more things. Uh, I told them that I was awfully proud to be able to come and serve my community and show my two children what it means to sacrifice yourself for the, for the betterment of others to sacrifice even your own family, and then more so to also know when to end that sacrifice because it's become too much, and to go back home and spend more time with your family. I thank you all, and I love you. Commissioner Vallejos. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, over six years ago, we um, got to meet uh, Mark, and, and um, I had a TV program called Taking Back America, and he came and sat down in our studio and uh, got to interview him and got to know him really well. And uh, Sheriff and Mark and I came in the same year and got to meet Kathy and all the family. And um, I'll tell you what, he's, he's a genuine friend, a genuine person. Um, and we didn't always agree, but I tell you what, he was, he was a great friend through it all. And so um, uh, I just want to say I, I appreciate his friendship, uh, sincerity, and, and what he did. And I know uh, the family's going to enjoy having you back. God bless you. Thank you. I would like to recognize uh, local Weeblo uh, Troop PAC 509. Uh, they're in the audience. They came a little early and asked the mayor some really difficult questions. Gentlemen, if y'all stand up, please, so we can recognize y'all. Glad to have you here. And I would be remiss. Uh, we had a reception prior to the commission meeting for Mr. Riggins and his family. I'm so glad his family was here in attendance. But uh, during that, I failed to recognize a couple of people. And uh, Debbie Gentry, Elizabeth Black, uh, Shelly Bagg and Emily Matthews for putting that on for us. Ladies, thank y'all so much. Y'all do such an awesome job. Ms. Jackson, would you please read the roll? Yes, sir. We have 21 present, zero absent. Thank you, ma'am. Commissioner Gannon. All right, at this time, we'll have the election of the chairperson of the legislative body. I would like to call on Commissioner Robert Nichols, the chairperson of the nominating committee. Thank you. The chairman of the county legislative body, I'd like to nominate Jim Durrett to serve as chairman for one year term to expire September 2017. Is there a second? Motion's been seconded. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion for, well, we'll vote on it. I'll entertain a motion for acclamation. Motion been made for acclamation and seconded. Please cast your votes. I didn't vote. Madam Clerk, will you tally the votes, please? I vote yes, if that counts, since I'm not over there. We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Please welcome with me our chairperson of the legislative body, Mayor Jim Durrett. All right. Uh, now we have our election of our chairperson pro tem. I'll call on Commissioner Nichols, chairman of the nominating committee. Well, this is a little odd, but uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, 
I have been nominated uh, by the committee to serve on a one-year term as Mayor Potem to expire September 2017. We have a motion. Is there a second? Commissioner Riccone, any discussion on the motion? If you would please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 20 yeses, zero noes, one abstention. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations, Commissioner Nichols. Next on our agenda is approval of the August 8, 2016 minutes. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Gannon, second, Commissioner Butts. Any discussion on our minutes? If you would, please register your vote. <laughs> Does anyone want to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Our next item on the agenda are our zoning resolutions. Our first resolution is CZ 13, 2016, application of C Cecil Travis Jr. from R1 to M1 Light Industrial. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Riggins, is there a second? Commissioner Riccone, any discussion on CZ 13, 2016? Commissioner Nichols. Um, thank you, Mayor. Um, just a point. Um, last week, uh, Dr. Ripple indicated that the uh, Planning Commission unanimously voted to uh, approve this. I was, in fact, in the hospital. I want to let the County Commission know that I was not available to, to vote on that uh, resolution. And also, uh, I'd like to share with my fellow commissioners that uh, it's troubling what the additional information and research that I have, and that this is not the only case, commissioners, that we will be seeing in the near future based upon our assessor's uh, review and our uh, building and codes. And uh, I just wanted everyone to know that. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have nine yeses, 11 noes, one abstention. Thank you, ma'am. Motion fails. CZ 14, 2016, application of Maddie Brown from R1 to C5 Highway and com Arterial and Commercial. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Keene, second. Commissioner Tooley, any discussion on CZ 14, 2016? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Now we're moving into the agenda item of our resolutions. Our first resolution is 1691, resolution amending the budget of the Montgomery County Veterans Service Organization. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Brockman? Is there a second? Commissioner Gildersleeve? Any discussion on 1691? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? If 20 yeses, one no, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. 1692 resolution to accept grant funding from the Montgomery County Animal Care and Control through Maddie's Fund. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Butts, is there a second? Commissioner Jason Hodges, any discussion on 1692? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Resolution 1693, resolution to acknowledge and agree to certain terms and conditions regarding participating in the Tennessee Consolidated Retirement System. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Harper, second. Commissioner Arnold Hodges. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. I, I, need, to, I need to ask someone, I need to ask someone to consider a motion uh, to amend on this. 
Okay. Commissioner Harper. The the this is a this and the next resolution are designed to to change our uh, effective date in the separation of the by county employees and the state has asked that we move that from what this resolution says as an October 1st date to a December 1st, 2016 date. And that's the motion that Mr. Harper, I understand, has agreed to make. I will accept that as a friendly amendment if Mr. Harper, if you're okay with that, I think, uh, who seconded that? Yes, Mayor. Uh, Commissioner Arnold Hodges, uh, that may help you some, Kelly? Yes, sir. So, uh, resolution 1693 as amended uh, with the friendly amendment, and that's changing the date from October 1, 2016 to December 1, 2016. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Before I read this next one, do we need uh, the same on this one? Yes, sir. And it's exactly the same limited motion. Let me get it to the floor. And go ahead, Commissioner Harper. Thank you, Mayor. Um, question on the previous vote. Don't we have to vote on the amendment that we made? or not we considered it a friendly amendment and just okay. brought it forward okay. as one okay thank you 1694 is a resolution to authorize a joint venture participation in the Tennessee consolidated retirement system in accordance with TCA title 8 chapter 34 through 37 is there a motion for approval Commissioner Gannon second Commissioner Sokol now we, Harvey. now we need the same motion to amend, uh, changing the effective date from October 1st, 2016 to December 1st, 2016. Without Backs objection, up. will you accept that Backs as a up. friendly amendment? We won't vote on it. We'll vote on it all together. Commissioner Sokol, you okay with that as well? Agreed. Thank you, sir. So we're voting on 1694 with the date change from October 1, 2016 to December 1, 2016. Any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Resolution 1695 is a resolution to adopt the 2017 legislative agenda as presented by the Legislative Liaison Committee. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Vallejo, second. Commissioner Harper. Excuse me, any discussion on 1695? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Resolution 1696, resolution of the Montgomery County Board of Commissioners authorizing the acceptance of state grant funds from the Tennessee Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Brockman, second. Commissioner Genus, any discussion on 1696? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Resolution 1697, resolution to charge off debts, debts in the Montgomery County Clerk's Office. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Baggett, second. Commissioner Jason Hodges, any discussion? I would like to just make note, I made note of this at our informal uh, meeting. Uh, I think it just shows the, what a great uh, county clerk's office or county clerk that we have and what a great office she runs for the year 2014-2015 to have five checks totaling 
$199 that we're having to write off is pretty awesome with the amount of business that goes through your office, Kelly. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mayor. We have a motion and a second. If you would, please register your vote. Commissioner Arnold Hodges. I don't think your vote worked. There you go. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Resolution 1698, resolution to amend the budgets of various funds from fiscal year 2017 in certain areas of revenues and expenditures. Is there a motion for approval? Commissioner Nichols, is there a second? Commissioner Tooley, any discussion on 1698? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Under our unfinished business, I'd like to introduce Mr. Jo Doug Jones. He's an architect. He's the new newest member of our engineering department. Is a position that we approved uh, in this year's budget. Uh, so, uh, Doug, if you don't mind, stand up. You're a pretty tall guy. I think everybody will see you, but welcome aboard. Good to have you, man. <laughs> Under our reports, our county clerk's report, Ms. Ms. Jackson, if you would please your report and remind the commission this re does require commission approval. Comes Kelly A. Jackson, county clerk, Montgomery County, Tennessee, and presents the county clerk's report for the month of August 2016. I hereby request that the persons named on the list of new applicants to the Office of Notary Public be elected. The oaths of the elected county officials, sheriff's deputies, and deputy county officials are approved as taken. This report shall be spread upon the minutes of the Board of County Commissioners. You received your list for notaries last week. You do not have any that are signed by personal surety, and you do not have any names that need to be read into the minutes for bond purposes. Thank you, ma'am. Is there a motion for approval for the clerk's report? Commissioner Riccone, second. Commissioner Creek, any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, and zero abstentions. Commissioners, under your reports filed, you'll see there's 12 of them, 10 were additions, uh, excuse me, 10, 11, and 12 were additions from our informal sessions. Those reports are there for your viewing. This time, I'd like to uh, recognize Commissioner Nichols, the chairman of the nominating committee uh, for nominating committee nominations. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. The uh, nominating committee has uh, one area on the highway commission. We have two nominees. We had Ed Groves nominated to serve another four-year term to expire September 2020. And Orville Lewis has been filling an unexpired term, is now eligible uh, and nominated to serve his first four-year term to expire September 2020. And that's in a... Both of those in the form of a motion? Motion, yes, sir. Is there a second? Commissioner Creek, any discussion on the nominating committee nominations? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change their vote? Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? You have 21 yeses, zero noes, and zero abstentions. Thank you, ma'am. Under the county mayor nominations, uh, this will require uh, commission approval. Under judicial commissioner, Ms. Kathy Claiborne, a part-time employee, nominated to serve another one-year term to expire September 2017. And under my appointments, we also have another one that has to be confirmed uh, by the county commission and without objection. Uh, we will vote on it as well at the same time. And it's for the Port Authority. It's for a five-year staggered term. Bill Kimbrough appointed to replace Ben Kimbrough for a five-year term to expire September 2021. Is there a motion for those two county mayor nominations and appointments? Commissioner Albert, is there a second? Commissioner Vallejos, any discussion? If you would, please register your vote. Would anyone like to change your vote? 
Ms. Jackson, would you please tally the vote? We have 21 yeses, zero noes, zero abstentions. Under appointments, just for your information, uh, chaplain of the legislative body, a one-year term. Joe Creek appointed to serve a one-year term to expire September 2017. In the Regional Historic Zoning Commission, a five-year term. Sally P. Castleman appointed to replace Doug Jones as architect for a five-year term to expire September 2021. All right, on to our announcements. Each of you should have an invitation on your desk for groundbreaking at EMS Station 31. That's a new station we're starting. The address is at 2915 Pace Road. That event will be on Monday, September the 26th at 4.30 p.m. Also, we hope to see all of you at the Legislative Liaison Reception on Tuesday, September the 27th at 5.30 p.m. at the Civic Hall. If you have not RSVP'd for this, please do so as soon as possible by either letting Debbie Gentry know uh, by email or call to her office. And just a reminder, due to scheduling conflicts, Congressman Blackburn's office changed the time of her arrival on October 19th to 4 o'clock p.m. If you have not RSVP to attend, please do so. We'd like to have as many to attend as possible. On September 26th, that will be the deadline for applicants to submit their paperwork for the District 4 Commissioner seat. You will receive the paperwork in your drop box as soon as our office has it in hand. All candidates will address the commission at the formal commission meeting on October, October 10th. That will be followed by the voting process, and we have put that information in your Dropbox folders as well on your iPads. Lastly, um, two things. Wednesday the 14th, Mr. Joe Creek, I think you'll be 80 years old. Congratulations to you. 45 years as a county commissioner. That's, that's pretty good. You, you keep telling me you're going to 100 too, aren't you? All right, all right. And, 101, all right, all right. And lastly, Mr. Riggins, just to you, uh, good luck, Godspeed to you. Uh, I hope the wind's always at your back and filling your sail. So God bless you, man. Uh, Sheriff, if you would, would, anybody else have anything? Sheriff, if you would, would you adjourn us, please? All right, all right. Oh, yes, oh, yes, this Honorable Board of County Commissioners now stands adjourned. May God save this state and this Honorable Board of County Commissioners.